from the KGW HD Studios. News Channel 8 at 6.30 starts now. It's all the talk and all up in the air. Hillary Clinton makes a comeback. Barack Obama focuses on delegates. And John McCain gets a big backer. Tonight is any candidate's game. And now Oregon comes into play. The neck and neck Democratic race means Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are likely to campaign here in Oregon. Bottom line, the state's primary on May 20th matters. Our team coverage picks up with News Channel 8's Nancy Francis, here to explain just how last night's results affect politics here. Nancy? Laurel, the close race means that even though Oregon's primary is late, we are the 47th state to vote. The candidates cannot ignore the state, and campaigns for Clinton and Obama say they will have a high profile here. Uh, magazine covers from the 1992 primary uh, campaign. It's sort of Kari Chisholm is a political the junkie of the Democratic the persuasion. Side. All the excitement is on the Democratic side. There's a lot of talk about, about Obama and Hillary. And Chisholm runs the political blog Blue Oregon, where there was a lot of chatter today about the neck-and-neck -neck race between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and how it suddenly makes Oregon's primary relevant. The Oregon voters may get a chance to choose here. Oregon is in play. Josh Carden is heading the Clinton campaign in Oregon. I never thought in a million years when I signed on to chair the steering committee uh, that uh, Oregon would be relevant in the primary battle. The Obama campaign is definitely up and running. Chisholm, who was supporting John Edwards, now supports Obama. He predicts both Clinton and Obama will come to Oregon next month. I expect we're going to start seeing some commercials probably uh, in April, and uh, we'll start seeing, uh, you know, candidates start appearing here in April as well. Yeah. Cardin says the Clinton team is already making plans for Oregon. I can't talk about those at this time, but I can tell you this, that uh, Senator Clinton will compete in Oregon, and she'll compete well. And if the race remains as tight as it is now, the Democratic nomination may well be decided by the superdelegates here in Oregon and the other states. Tracy? Thank you, Nancy.